Hello and welcome again to Stocks Advisors channel. In today's episode, we will talk about Uber Technologies Incorporated, traded at New York Stock Exchange ticker name Uber. Well, it's um, nice to see that after our analysis of Uber, it worked really exactly as predicted. So, you know, uh, our followers were able to make nice profit here. And now we see that after um, having next step, big step up, that was taking place in November of previous year, uh, right here we can see that actually now after having also very nice long time of uh, stable grow uh, we are about after forming kind of uh, triangle but this was uh, let's say forming this triangle we are about pierce it downwards so it's a little bit contradicting pattern that we see so let's uh, magnify it here so this is the pattern where in general the triangle worked so if you look at this one it, it really uh, seems to to be working but um, if you look carefully today the can the, the shadow of current candle weight lower than the, the line of triangle the lower line of triangle let's call it r2 and the upper line we can therefore call uh, correspondingly r1 so the triangle r1 r2 can be broken tomorrow although you can see after hours we slightly in plus but it means nothing we can continue decline so if it will be red white combination tomorrow of course would be nice then we can go all the way to actually r1 and make the profit but if not it could decline further and then we need to be ready to average down so in order not to miss both opportunities uh, we actually uh, we will now to discuss how to trade but in general what is important to remember is that uh, the current price levels especially being at 60 at the lower ones that were there at November were uh, 39 so it's uh, more than let's say 80% grow and this is really important to remember and and uh, why is it important because we can say that there was a big grow in few months period actually almost in uh, you can say no time period and now uh, we need really to see that from these levels there is a big void a big gap which can attract the price because uh, there is a huge distance and it's from uh, top to down 40 uh, to almost 43 percent but if you look from uh, down to top it was really nice growth which make it almost uh, 70 percent so this big void needs correction it requires a correction and this might be coming and if this is the indication of it we just need to be prepared it's not given that it is but um, we need to be prepared therefore how to trade here the first of course way to uh, the level to enter would be exactly in the middle of the channel at 5791 uh, as a top and then as a bottom one we can just take let's say the lower part which is at uh, 5322 uh, this way you we will cover actually all possibilities of the first rebounds but also of the decline and then let's write it here for ourselves as a call out so this will be uh, 5233 to 5791 so this is the first channel to buy and this is the channel based on uh, the situation that triangle is not yet cancelled it's just uh, a tiny uh, let's say pierce but it will resolve positively and the with further grow up if this is the case then uh, we can actually sit there and make the profit but most let's say most probable situation not that absolutely probable but most probable it looks like we will go lower because if you look at uh, MACD histogram it's after finishing first negative wave it didn't go in the positive level it starts to go lower so may, might be forming second negative wave also RSI is still in decline looks like we can go to our um, sold area if this is going to happen then we could really go much lower and the next uh, support level to observe here will be that channel uh, to buy which will be actually even a bit lower it will be uh, 4720 and uh, the top exactly at 50 and by that time also moving average 200 will be almost in the middle of this channel so it will make it a very strong double support channel which is really nice it's always good to have a technical double supports because it means that 
we are really on the right path and actually can make a really a good profit there. So with this being said, let's write it again for ourselves. The second channel to buy through based on the fact that the the triangle R1, R2 is cancelled. And we will see it in coming days. Actually, tomorrow it will be already immediately seen. If we go lower, then triangle is cancelled. So with this being said, this is going to happen. This is a technical part of the trade. Also, what we need to keep into account, again, remembering this huge growth that we had uh, from November period is a negative catalyst. If negative catalyst kicks in, although not expected for these levels and for overall situation with Uber and the market, if it kicks in, uh, price could decline. And if it happens, we need, really need to be prepared to buy at those levels to average down and to mitigate our risks, as always, as we discussed at our channel. So if this is going to happen, we just need to go to very principal levels of uh, buying and these would be actually here it will be between uh, 36 uh, 52 at the lower and the 40 on the top so let's write it for ourselves again as a call out again to, to, uh, to mention this sometimes people ask uh, why are you predicting that low levels it's not that we predict those it's the levels that we want to mitigate our risks if any doomsday scenario takes place while people will be exiting with losses and actually um, closing the, the, the position and the situation, you can just buy through, average down, buy through and still exit with a profit and actually with a reasonable profit. So this way of trading is tuned as a very best optimization for loss versus profit. And it sounds funny, but with this way of trading, the worst situation get us the more profit you will take eventually because you will buy more at the lower level. So this is really optimization for uh, mitigation of the risks. And once all risks are mitigated, what remains for you is of course taking the profit. So these are three levels to buy through. And if you ask yourself how we buy, so how do we non-linearly average down? Again, I usually would advise five portions play for those who know, um, who are not first time on the channel, they know. But in this case, we advise six portions play. And the reason is because the first channel is quite weak. And six portions play mean that the money you would like to play here, you can split in six portions, then you can buy with one portion in the first channel. Uh, you can buy with three portions in the channel, because this is the most probable channel to, uh, to rebound. And if really we have a very negative, uh, let's say, catalyst and the price really just fades, to the third level, then you buy uh, with remaining two portions there. And although it's remaining only two portions, but by the moment it will be there, if it will be there, believe me, its value will be as similar as to the uh, first four portions because you will buy more with lower price. And we'll talk about this in one of our education videos coming soon on the channel. So this is the way to trade here. Classical with the best optimization uh, with all major risks mitigated. Uber is still quite nice. Most probable channel to trade is the second one, but still first one might work. So we need to keep in, uh, in mind this one as well. So good luck with this one. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. If you're first time watching this video, press the bell button. This way you will not miss our new videos and new interesting discussions for US-based stocks.